Picture this, a gripping narrative that unfolds in the Netflix movie, Leave the World Behind. A tale spun around a handful of characters, each with their unique dynamics who are thrust into a world they no longer recognize. We delve deep into this story, not your average post-apocalyptic tale, but rather a psychological exploration of humanity's response to the unknown. We follow a family, seemingly just like yours or mine, as they navigate through this new reality. Their relationships strained and their sanity tested. But don't be fooled, this is not a tale of zombies or alien invasions. Instead, it's a cerebral journey, a deep dive into the psyche of the ordinary man and woman, faced with extraordinary circumstances. So just imagine you're on a family vacation when suddenly everything goes dark. What would you do? Just when you think things can't get any more complicated, they do. Welcome to the heart of our story where the unexpected happens and our character's vacation takes a turn for the worse. Imagine this, you're enjoying a peaceful retreat and suddenly the homeowners show up unannounced. Now that's a twist. As the story unfolds, we see the character's reactions to this unexpected intrusion. There's disbelief, distrust, and a whole lot of tension in the air. Can you blame them? They've just found out that the world outside might be on the brink of chaos. And now they've got strangers in their holiday home. It's like a pressure cooker ready to explode. But wait, there's more. Strange events start to happen, adding another layer of uncertainty to an already tense situation. The power goes out, throwing them into darkness and further isolating them from the outside world. Then there's the noise, an unsettling, unexplainable sound that sends shivers down their spines. It's like the universe is playing some cruel joke on them, piling on the dread and suspense. Each character reacts differently, revealing more about their personalities. Some show fear, others disbelief, but all of them are united by a common feeling of unease. It's a masterful display of character development, showing how people react when they're pushed out of their comfort zones. And that's just the beginning. The homeowner's unexpected arrival is merely the tipping point the catalyst that sets in motion a chain of events that will test their sanity and survival instincts. It's the perfect storm that turns their dream vacation into a nightmare. Now you're not only dealing with a possible end of the world scenario, but also with strangers in your holiday home. Talk about a vacation gone wrong. What if the biggest threat is what you can't see? Now that's a question that'll make your spine tingle. As we delve deeper into the story, we encounter a sense of unease that gradually morphs into outright fear. It's like a thick fog wrapping itself around our characters, making every moment an exercise in tension. The characters are starting to feel the pressure. The tranquility of their vacation home is shattered by a mounting sense of dread. They can't put their finger on it, but there's something out there. Something unseen that sends chills down their spines. Now let's talk about the incident with the sun. The boy falls ill, and it's not a regular cold or flu. His symptoms are strange, inexplicable. And this incident, my friends, becomes the catalyst that sends the situation spiraling out of control. It's like a sudden gust of wind that stirs the still waters, creating ripples that unsettle everyone. The paranoia among the characters escalates and the once warm and welcoming vacation home transforms into a claustrophobic trap. Here's the catch though, there's no visible enemy, no monstrous creature lurking in the shadows, no deranged serial killer on the loose. Yet, the fear is palpable. It's a psychological terror that seeps into every corner of their minds, coloring their every thought and action. This unseen threat is the true antagonist of our story. It's not a person or a beast, but the character's own fears and insecurities. Their anxiety feeds the terror, making it grow larger and more menacing with each passing moment. It's a brilliant portrayal of how our minds can be our own worst enemies, twisting every shadow into a monster and every sound into a threat. So what happens when you're faced with an enemy you can't see or touch? An enemy that's born out of your own fears and paranoia? Well, my dear listeners, that's where the true horror lies. In the face of the unknown, even the bravest can crumble. When the world outside falls apart, so does the world inside. A profound truth that unravels as we traverse further into the narrative of leave the world behind. As our characters find themselves in the throes of an unknown apocalypse, we bear witness to a gradual deterioration of their relationships. The veneer of civility is chipped away, revealing raw, primal instincts. The familial bonds that once held them together start to fray, and the house that was once a sanctuary becomes a battleground. The characters start turning on each other, their trust corroded by fear and uncertainty. 
their once shared goals of survival are replaced by individualistic instincts. Every action, every word is now under scrutiny, breeding suspicion and paranoia. The once harmonious group splinters into factions, each trying to assert control in a world where control is an illusion. In the midst of this internal tumult, we come across a poignant scene. A scene that is as symbolic as it is unsettling. The dying animals. This scene serves as a stark reminder of their shared fate. In their struggle for survival, they have become no different than the animals, their lives dictated by the same primal instincts of fear and self-preservation. It's a chilling reflection of their descent into chaos. As the situation outside worsens, desperation and helplessness start to seep in. The characters are faced with the grim reality that their survival is not in their hands. Their illusion of control shatters, leaving them grappling with their own insignificance in the grand scheme of things. It's a sobering realization that further fuels their internal chaos, pushing them to the brink of their sanity. The narrative of Leave the World Behind is not just about an external apocalypse, but an internal one as well. It's an exploration of how the human psyche reacts when faced with an existential crisis. And, as we delve deeper into the chaos, we realize something profound. In the end, it's not about surviving the apocalypse, but surviving each other. All good things must come to an end, but what if the end is just the beginning? This poignant question hovers in the air as we delve into the unresolved ending of Leave the World Behind. An ending that's not so much an end, but a cliffhanger, a pause, a question mark. It's a narrative choice that leaves the audience pondering long after the credits roll. Our beloved characters, caught in the throes of an unseen disaster, have their final moments on screen shrouded in mystery and ambiguity. What happens to them? We don't know. But what we do know is that they accept their fate, whatever it may be. This acceptance isn't born out of resignation, but rather an understanding of their circumstances. It's a testament to their growth throughout the film and their realization that there are forces beyond their control. As we dissect these final moments, we uncover the movie's overarching themes. Fear of the unknown is a prominent one, constantly looming in the background. It's a universal fear, one that resonates with each one of us. What's more terrifying than the unseen, the unheard, the unknown? Leave the world behind, taps into this primal fear holding up a mirror to our own insecurities and uncertainties, yet it's not just about fear. The movie also explores human nature in crisis. It peels back the layers of civility, revealing the raw, unfiltered emotions beneath. Fear, panic, desperation, and ultimately, acceptance. It's a harrowing portrayal of humanity, stripped down to its bare essentials. But the most profound theme of all is survival. Survival, not in the physical sense, but survival of our humanity, our compassion, our empathy. Despite the chaos, the characters never lose their human touch. It's a subtle yet powerful message, reminding us that in the face of adversity, our humanity is our greatest strength. When the world ends, it's not the physical destruction that's the most terrifying, but the unraveling of our humanity. And that's the chilling truth, leave the world behind, leaves us with. So, what can we take away from leave the world behind? This movie stands as a stark reminder that the apocalypse isn't always about external threats. Rather, it underscores how our own psychology can play a crucial role when faced with unknown circumstances. It's a unique take on the post-apocalyptic genre, shifting the focus from the typical external threats to the internal ones. The film masterfully explores the family's descent into chaos, their fear and paranoia growing as the unseen threat looms large. The unresolved ending, leaving us in a state of suspense, further emphasizes the psychological torment faced by the characters. This approach prompts us to question, how would we react in their shoes? The film's impact is profound, compelling us to introspect, to delve deep into our own psyche and confront our fears. So what are your thoughts? How do you interpret the film's unique approach and its focus on human psychology? In the face of the unknown, it's not the physical threats that are the most terrifying, but the ones that lurk within us. And that's the chilling truth, leave the world behind, leaves us with.